is no love which does not express itself in giving. you should now take God to your heart. His love means He's giving it to you. None of us in this world God didn't give a gift. Your gift. It cannot be valued. If other people are not using it. If it cannot help other people. Love is not self-sufficient. So your gift. God gives it to you and put capacities of values some what was given to you shows your value and that is what you use to fit in the society so your being here on the earth it has a purpose you are there for others and others are there for you there is no love which does not express itself in giving let us pray. Father in Christ Jesus. We say we love you. Thank you for loving us. Before we loved you. Give us the grace. To know you more, O oh Lord. Send the Holy Ghost in our midst to guide us as we read your word. In Jesus we pray. Praise the Lord. Today we have a simple topic. And this topic will take us to John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Listen from the bottom of your heart. If you want to learn something simple, the is no love which does not express itself in giving. How much somebody say I love you? Let us be sincere. In love. I love you, my Jesus. You are deceiving to yourself. My friend Jesus. You are deceiving to yourself. There is no love. Which does not express itself in giving. You are now here seated. What brought you here is a certain power. You need to push your business ahead to your vision. 
you know that this Mr. Kakande. God has given him that power. And he can give it to you. And it goes and push your business ahead to your vision. You have the so-called persecutors. You want to overcome them. They send demons to you. They, they say this, they say that. But you are here seated. You are If I can get some power that can repel these people, that will be enough. So that I can do my business. But it is Kakande whom God gave that power. So Kakande must be in position to give you some of that power. So Kakande's presence here is for your receiving. If it doesn't give you the power, your persecutors will overcome you. And whatever you are doing will collapse. And people will laugh at you. So Kakande must be in position. To give you from some of the power he got from God. You too, you go to your business. Somebody dumps witchcraft or anything. I have my holy waters. In the name of Jesus. Please. Clean it, clean it. There's no problem. This is you are standing. You are working. You are working. I tell you, I'm giving that man only 60 days on this land. He cannot build. You, you, you go, you just bring your blocks, your whatever is. You people, please watch. There is no love. You say Kakande love me without him giving you that power to sustain you. No way. No way. Love can't manifest itself without giving. Your gift it cannot be valued if other people are not using it. If it cannot help other people forget if any paper called money this is 50,000. You call it 50,000. It can manage 50,000 values. You are talking about some When you go to the shop, they give you merchandise or commodities what a value of this paper. I want matoke. No, this one is for 20,000. 
This one is for 30. And this one is for 60. Now you pick three of them. And you give them 50,000. Say, no, 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 no. I told you this is one worth 20,000 and this one 30,000. That is enough for your paper. That is what your paper can manage. That is why it is called money. There is no any other name of this paper other than managing. This paper is printed and put values. All paper look to manage capacities of values. So your gift, God gives it to you and put capacities of values. You may be a lawyer at this stage and another stage and another stage to manage but with, with values. He's a lawyer but he's specialized in criminology. He's an expert. He has an experience in criminology. That is what he studied. So, my friend, whatever you have in life is variable to others. It is useful to others. If others do not use it, it will cease to be variable. You have a food they don't eat. Useless. It is not used. It is useless. So it is for you now to get to know your gift. Gift given for you to fit. Gift Come here. Why? He has a gift. God gave him a given fitting. What fitting? Where he fit? <laughs> Kakande has a gift. Kakande alina echamu weva what fitting? God gave him where he fit. Katonda yamu wa what fitting? And that is what people value in him. Echo abantu kwemuendo gubamu balamu. What was given to you shows your value. And that is what you use to fit in the society. So if you don't use what God gave to you, people say you are useless. None of us in this world God didn't give a gift. But other, they use their given fittings less. So, you're being here on the earth. It has a purpose. You are there for others. And the others are there for you. Let me give you an example. Say, I have a stomach. I'm a woman. This is my stomach. It has never been your stomach. Somebody's stomach. Somebody's house. Somebody's vehicle. Nine months you are carrying somebody. One and a half years you are feeding somebody. My breast. Whose breast? Everything you have is to profit others. 
No way can you claim that what you have is yours. Everything on the earth is useful only when it can be used by others. But if others cannot use it, it is useless. So it cannot be multiplied because it, it is not needed, sir. It is not needed, sir. Whether your money cannot be multiplied, even you, you cannot force yourself to more because nobody needs it. Even you are singing a song. And people are, cannot enjoy it. Please, please, please. Go, 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 go and sing somewhere else. But if your song can cheer others, eh, see, where, where is him? Where is him? Where is him? Second Peter, chapter one, verse twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation, for prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. When they are moved, so they spoke the word of God, and that word was moved to touch others, to affect others by the Holy Spirit. You knowing that. The Holy Spirit has power to move that word you have said. Behave. That word moves healing to the sick person. Otherwise, you may say be healed without the Holy Spirit moving that word somebody will not be affected will not be healed will not be moved no nothing holy men of God spoke as they were moved they taught they preached as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. You want to stand in your shop and say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I have my commodities here. Bring the customers. So the Holy Spirit goes out and touch the customers. You want this clothes, come the, go this way. Go the other way. Go, go this way. This is the good shop. You want the Holy Spirit to go and move them to your shop. To your business. To your office. That is why you are seated here. Holy men of God spoke as they were being moved. By the Holy Spirit, their word being moved. That is why you see me, you stand up. That's why you see me standing. I may not even say any words. But the brother is being moved. All this is by the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance in my heart. That spirit of deliverance. I don't need to shout. No way. 
Say, oh Lord Jesus. I have a reason to be here. Send thy Holy Ghost to move me. Move my business. Move my career. Move my home. Move my status to the value what the others in Jesus' name. People will begin to value you, you because what you have affects them. Oh. Somebody come to your office with witchcraft. The moment he sits, witchcraft collects itself and goes back to his head. <laughs> Let me leave this office. Hallelujah! Why should I fear what people say? You are the right to me. You are the right to me. People will love you because you have what they need. My prayer today, whatever God gave you as a gift, given fitting, given fitting that you recover it, you discover it. You're given fitting to be covered by the Holy Spirit. Affect others. <laughs> the presence of your shop, of your business, of your office. Yes, there's, there's an IT man here. There's an IT man here. Let's go there. Let's go there. Say, oh Lord Jesus, give me the grace. Just give me the grace that my given fitting, that, that what you gave to me, to fit me. Be useful to others. Send me the Holy Ghost to move my gift, my gift, in order to profit others, to touch others. My gift from God. Begin to be active now. Now. Begin to be 
and they begin to be active. Move. My gift in business, my gift in this, my gift in that. Begin to be active. Move. Touch others. Be useful to others. Be recognized. Pray out. In Jesus' holy name. You are the one to me. You are the one to me. Why should I care? What people say, they don't know what you mean to me. If your gift cannot affect others, cannot attack them. Cannot touch them. They will not use it. Send your Holy Spirit. Touch my gift. To flow. Like water. In the river. Jesus name. Whatever be your business. Be it a kiosk. Let the Holy Spirit touch it. Let it begin to flow. Say my business. Begin to flow. Like water. Begin to flow. My business, my professional, begin to flow like water in the river. Jesus' holy name. Surrounded by your love. Surrounded by your love. Again. Surrounded by your love. Again. Surrounded by your love. Your everlasting love. Surrounded by your love, your everlasting love. Why should I care what people say? <laughs> they don't know what you mean to me. It is like a singing in this way. Because love is simply giving. Why should you care? When people curse you to become poor, but you are surrounded by God's giving. He is supplying, giving you. Surrounded by you giving me everlasting gifts. Again. Surrounded by you giving me everlasting gifts. Again. Surrounded by you giving your everlasting gift. Why should I care what, what people say? They don't know what you mean to me. Listen to God's word. Surrounded by God's gifts. Surrounded by God's promises. Mention God's promises every day. Upon your life. Surrounded by you giving me. 
Hey! 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 Surrounded by your giving everlasting power. Surrounded by your giving me your everlasting power. Surrounded by you giving me everlasting strength. Your everlasting wisdom, your everlasting knowledge, your everlasting understanding. Why should I care? Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Or else you should now take God to your heart. Put him into your heart. Acknowledge who he is. His love. Means he's giving it to you. Without you realizing who God is to you. You may not know God's purpose. Of your creation into the world. He's taking it to the promised land. You complain every day. People who complain always, they cannot finish to their vision. God doesn't this nullifies all whatever he has ever given to you. And say, oh, I'm giving it to him, but it doesn't. <laughs> Give thanks. Thank God. The moment you sit down and you calculate how much time God took. Just to create your head. What a wise God we have. But how much time did he take? Sitting down. Composing. Designing. Designing. All those veins. To make your head. Where did he get the skin covering you? Which is not even strong. But it covers you. Since you, you were born. How much time it took creating your nose? The heart which can beat from morning to night from until those years you have. <coughs> the hair you just cut and others come back. You think it took one day. I think it took some time. To imagine this and that in order to put you together. If you say you are useless, you have made God nothing to you. Ask him why he created you. And the values in you. You begin to love yourself and to love others because you want them to value you to, to, to understand what you have. There's nothing on you which is valueless. Begin to sit down. Ask the Holy Spirit to make whatever you have active. To give you the knowledge for you to know exactly what God gave you, how it should work. Ask him to give you wisdom. Knowledge, understanding, you are useful. 
You can help others. You can be used by others. There are many things you can do. You are not doing them because you don't know that you can do them. Say, oh Holy Spirit, let me know what God is in my life. Who God is in my life. Thank you, Jesus. The only battle we have on the earth is not eating and drinking. Because what you eat, you pass it out. But to please God. In order to score a mark, put you in his mansions. I'm reading John 14, verse 1 and 2. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know. And the way, you know. I work here on the earth. Is a big war. To please God. That is why Satan hunts us reports us divert us to displease God because in that way he knows you are forfeiting your godly seat in God's kingdom because here you are living for a little time your work should be to please God in order to win the seat in heaven so Lord Jesus give a project to my life which can challenge me exceedingly that you may give me the strength the courage to wake me up that I may exceed I may grow higher than the challenger. Ask God to give you a project in life which challenges your life that you may work, you may think, you may better yourself and you are promoted above that project challenging you. Prayer. Lord Jesus, give me a project in life which challenges me that I may stand and ask you strength and ask you power that I may walk, I may walk above that project. Prayer. Can I hear you pray? Project, which challenges my life that I may walk exceedingly I may think exceedingly above that I may be raised above I may be promoted above prayer In Jesus we pray. Some big project, project must challenge your life. You sit down, you think more than before. 
you walk more than before you work more than before you pray more than before you seek God more than before the time you finish that project your level has been promoted say Lord Jesus I desire such a project give me the strength now in Jesus name because failing doesn't mean failure those rings may ring but you can wake up and walk against them those fail rings fail rings do not mean failure but once people hear the fail rings they fall the warrior Feria. They fail the whole year. Feria. Follow the whole year. What are the fail rings? He has gone to school. He will never manage. Against the customer, tali malako, tali sovola. They discourage you. They ring. He has started a business. He will never manage. Those are called fair rings. They ring to your ears. But you can work against them. Say Lord Jesus. Any fail which rings to my ears I command you stop shut up shut up in Jesus name you can get failed dreams they show you that you have got an accident. They show you that you are poor. Say, Lord Jesus, in a failed dream, shut up, disappear, in Jesus' name. Black people, whenever they start business, fair rings, other people started and they did, didn't manage but you are not other people say I'm not other people I am what I am in a Christ Jesus I'm not other people I'm not other people you have ever seen I am what I am in a Christ Jesus. You are what you are in a Christ Jesus. Not like other people. Oh. If other people fail that failing ring, if it rings in your ears, you shouldn't take them on as an issue. Because the promise of God upon your life is to prosper. And I'll do what you ask me. These are the promises of God. Not to listen to failing rings. Say, oh Lord Jesus. I know you know me. You love me. You are taking care of me. Whatever is going on around me, you are very much aware. Now, Lord Jesus, let's go a new step. Promote me. I'll give you glory. Ask him to promote you in whatever you are doing, in your business, in your profession, 
in your life. Ask him to promote you financially, spiritually, physically. Ask him to promote you. Father, your right hand is power. Stretch your hand and touch them, O Lord. Touch their homes. The people who are sick, they have left at home. Father, as I stretch my hand, Lord Jesus, heal them. Repair them. Touch their hearts to know you and to love you. In Jesus we pray. Cover, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself. There is no love which does not express itself in giving. Or else you should now take God to your heart. His love means He's giving it to you. None of us in this world. God didn't give a gift. Your gift, it cannot be valued if other people are not using it. If it cannot help other people. So your gift, God gives it to you and they put capacities of values. What was given to you shows your value. And that is what you use to fit in the society. So, your being here on the earth, it has a purpose. You are there for others, and the others are there for you. There is no love which does not express itself in giving. Thank you for watching this video. 